Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Manny's and Makeup by Kristen. Today I did a look using um, the Huda Beauty Naughty Palette. I had never used this before, so I wanted to go ahead and give it a try. Um, has some really pretty colors in there if you haven't seen it before. I used um, some of the shimmery colors here and there and on the lid, and then I went in with the darker colors here in the crease. So I was really happy the way it came out. Um, I like these kind of colors, kind of the chocolate, mauve, pinky colors. I, I really like that color, those color combinations together. Um, on my face, I basically use the same stuff I always do. Right, right now, I'm into Too Faced foundations and concealer, so I've been using those. And my lips was um, uh, from Kat Von D. Um, what is that one? Backstage Bambi. My daughter got this the other day and she was all excited about it and she said, mommy, use that in your video. So, um, so anyways, thank you, Allison, for letting me use that. Also, I want to say that um, since I do manicures and my channel is dedicated to manicures as well, I have my um, New Year's manicure on. I use the black and gold. And let you guys see, it doesn't really pick up good on camera, but I really like it. I like the way it came out. I have some um, um, solid color black from Rebel Nail and then the goats is from Ritzy Dips. So if you want to see how I got that, it'll be in the description box below. I'll put the link. Also, I just want to say, speaking of New Year's, um, goodbye to 2020 and a very happy and welcoming to 2021. So here is to a happy, safe, healthy 2021 New Year's. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please uh, subscribe, like, share, whatever you want to do. I appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Manny's and Makeup by Kristen. Um, here I am getting ready for my makeup look, and I got to get that hair out of my face. And on my right, you will see my 10-year-old daughter, Allison. She wanted to sit in with me as I applied my makeup. She loves makeup as much as I do, so we love to shop for makeup together. Um, I let her sit in here with me. Um, I noticed she's a little bit distracting, so I don't know if that'll happen again the next time, but I'm sorry if it does bother you. Um, so I'm putting on a primer, and it's called Maybelline's Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Um, I don't know how well it erased my pores, but I do know that it was like silk putting on and it went wonderfully with my makeup. And now I am putting on my Charlotte Tilbury color corrector for the darkness under my eyes and it is in the shade medium, number two, medium. All right guys, here I am putting my foundation on and I am using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and it is in the color natural beige. I've been using that for the past couple months, trying that out. So far, I do like it. That shade is a bit too dark for me, but I'd rather have it too dark than too light. And um, I have to have full coverage, so I do put quite a bit on. Gotta cover up all those uh, sun damaged freckles I have on my face. Again, not the cute freckles, the uh, sun damage. And I am using a Sigma brush here to stipple that on, and it is the F80 Flat Kabuki, Kabuki brush from Sigma. And here comes the concealer, and I'm also using the Too Faced Born This Way and the Natural Beige. I know a lot of people like to use lighter colors under their eyes, but that just doesn't work for me. I don't know if it just, I just end up looking gray and washed out. I don't know if it's just because I have purples and uh, under my eyes and grays. I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. So I kind of just, I'd rather just have a, concealer just match the color up and have a concealer so i do have natural beige here and this concealer works really good i have used it for a few months and i, I really like it and to smooth that out and get that into my skin buff that in i actually am going to use a beauty blender for this i feel like that just gives it more coverage 
and here I am using that. I just feel like that just covers everything so much better. All right, guys, it's time to set the makeup. <clears throat> I do look a bit shiny there. And guess what? I am also using Too Faced Born This Way, their translucent powder. And I love this powder. It's so fine. It's just, again, it's like silk putting applying that to my face. And it does the job. It really sets the powder. So I'm really happy with that setting power powder. I'm almost out. And you know, those things last forever. It's a pretty big package, 17 grams. Those will last forever and I'm almost out. And contouring time, and you may have seen my last video, you may not, but I've been using a contour stick from Wet n Wild and I really like it. It's called Oaks On You is the, um, the shade that I'm using. And it's cheap, can't go wrong with cheap, so. There we are, and I am buffing that in with another Sigma brush, and that is, let's see here, I have it, it is the Flat Angled Kabuki brush, number F88. It does a pretty good job. All right, guys, here I am putting my blush on, and the blush is from e.l.f. As I mentioned in my last video, I don't spend a lot of money on blush. I just want something that's going to give me some, some good color on my cheeks, a little rosy color. Um, I just feel like blush is meant to give you a rosy color, so I don't really care if it's a dark color. More, I feel like darker colors are more for contouring. So as long as I get a little bit of pink on my cheeks, I'm good. And the e.l.f. does really good. It definitely gives me the color that I'm looking for. And the brush that I'm using is from, I may say this wrong and I apologize if I do, I've had this, uh, this brush a set. My husband got me some Zoeva brushes for Christmas and I've been using those and, of course, and I, that's what I asked for and I really like it. But that was the blush brush I was using from Zoeva. And now I am putting on my highlighter and that highlighter, guess what? It's the first time I ever used it and it's been out for years and that is Champagne Pop from Becca or um, Jaclyn Hill. Um, I tried to get this when it first came out and I never could get it. It seemed like it was always sold out. And I was at Sephora the other day and as I was checking out, it was sitting there a little um, by the counter. You know how they always have some uh, makeup products by the counter. So I saw it there and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. I'm going to try this for the first time years later. And let me tell you, it really puts the shine on. 
as I, uh, as you can see there, I had to go back over it because I felt like I was starting to look like a disco ball. So um, it definitely does its job. A little bit goes a long way. So I had to put my blush back on and kind of calm it down. But it, it's very nice. It definitely does what it's supposed to do. Now it's time for the concealer for my, not concealer, my primer for my eyes. And if you know me and watched my last video, you know I am tried, I am true to my painterly paint pot that I've been using since I was about 20 years old. So if you know my age, you know that's many, many years. So I just used another Zoeva brush, a concealer brush, and I just kind of used that to, to um, apply that with. Now I am using, going in with the Naughty Palette from Huda Beauty, and that color I am putting on the outer part of the lid is called Irresistible. So it's a, this palette is, works best if you're using your fingers. And I don't like to use my fingers, but the finger's gonna really give the color that you need. If you're wanting that good rich color, the fingers actually is gonna make sure that that color is put on that lid. With the brush, it kinda, it's not as thick and rich, and it falls out more. There is a point in here though that I do go ahead and use the brush. I just feel like I need to even it out more. But that color there is irresistible. I really like this palette. It has potential to, with, to have all kinds of great makeup looks, so I'm excited to try it again. And this is the first time I've used it, so I was really happy with it. Now the color that I will use on the inner part of my lid is going to be Desire. So I'm just gonna again, taking my finger and patting that on, just trying to get the full color on. I went ahead and cut out the other part. I, I figured you guys knew how to use your finger and put color on. So I went ahead and just forward past that, edited that part out. And after I used my finger, I just took a flat shader brush and just from, I think that was from Zoeva also, and just kind of went over it all, just kind of calmed it down, patted it on. Now it's time for the outer corner there and into my crease, I used the color um, Spicy. And I kind of will just fan that back and forth and I will make sure, you know, the most important thing with these colors, it's very matte is just the constant blending, just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you'll see here that I do get some, you know, it'll look not so together here in a second, but I always come back to it and make sure I blend. So blending is the key with just about all of makeup, even on your face, you know, it's always blending, blending, blending. And I have found that doing makeup videos, I do see that I did not blend enough when you don't see it looking in the mirror but on video you, you can really see where oh wow i didn't i didn't blend as much as i thought i did so anyways i'm just using that spicy and i really think <clears throat> i'm looking at the colors um the titles of these colors in here and obviously this palette is called naughty for a reason um Filthy, passion, shameless, please me, hypnotic, hard, aroused, spicy. Wow, those are definitely, <laughs> definitely the naughty palette. And that shade that I was just using there to um, blend it with, it, to get rid of that harsh line, is arouse. I really like that color. I'm actually going to bring it down here in a few minutes onto the the lower, the lower outline the lower lid there. And they don't have like a white matte color in this palette, so I had to just find another, um, just a matte color. And let's see, and it was from Anastasia. Let me see what it was here. Oh, it was called Fresh. And anytime I blend out, I always lose a lot of the color, so I just go back in with my brushes and kind of just add a little bit more and just add back on to what I need.
Okay guys, so now I'm bringing down a rouse and that is the color that I used to blend in that darker color at the top. It was uh, spicy. So I'm just bringing that on down into that lower lash line. And you'll see me here in just a minute. I will also take spicy and get a little closer to the lash line. And then I'm just gonna kind of blend those two in. Okay guys, so now I'm going to add a thin layer of liquid eyeliner and this is from NYX. And here I am using my favorite mascara, and it's the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And that is one of my mascaras that I have been loyal to for all the past 20 years. Every mascara I have ever used never compares. So I always go back to that one. Okay guys, now it's time for that beautiful pink lipstick that Allison wanted me to use. And it is really pretty. It's pretty bright. Um, it'd be a good color, I think, mainly for like summer and spring, but I love pink and she does too. Let's see, what was that? I think I told you guys in the introduction, but it's Backstage Bambi and it is beautiful. Thanks again, Allison. I wanted to tone it down just a bit and give it a little bit of a glossy look. And so I went in with a new shade I got just the other day from Wet n Wild and it is called Gemini. 